Hey, I'm Matt Jumper, and I'm gonna walk you through how to make this card overlap scrolling effect in Framer. It's actually super easy, so we're gonna get this done in under five minutes. We're gonna write zero lines of code, and we're just gonna use two things in Framer to get this done. It's gonna be the position type sticky and scroll transform. There's also gonna be a remix link uh, to the Framer project in the description below. You can duplicate the project, follow along with us, or just see the end results. So you can work back from that. Cool? Let's get into it. So for some context, um, to see how this is set up. We have our desktop stack that sets up vertical. Um, and inside we have our hero body and footer stacks. Um, the hero and the footer, we're not going to pay attention to today. It's really just here's placeholder stuff and for you to get to know me if you'd like to. Um, but it is important to note that the uh, there needs to be some content below the uh, about section here with the cards that we're making sticky because we just want to make sure that there's actually enough content to uh, have a scroll. So you can actually see the, uh, the scroll effect in action. Uh, but yeah, so once we get in here, we have our body stack and this has the outside padding applied to it with the vertical direction. Um, so if I just drop in more uh, content to put in here, it'll just sit underneath this about section. Um, then the about stack is the direction is set to uh, left and right. Um, and the gap is set to 64. So we actually have these beside each other with uh, some nice padding in the middle. And then inside here we have the text, which is just a text layer. It's, it doesn't need to be in a, a stack or a frame or anything like that. Um, and then the cards, which need to be in a stack and the direction is vertical. Um, and there's 24 pixel padding or gap in, in between each one. And then inside here, each card is a stack, but this could be a component. It could be an image, whatever you want. Um, and then the other thing to note about this is that all of the layers in the stacks that I just walked you through, they're all set to fill width and uh, auto height. So generally speaking, that's just a good idea because it's gonna make your life a lot easier when you're making these, uh, the responsive states. Um, but specifically for this tutorial, we're using uh, the type, position type sticky. So uh, height auto is important just so the, the bottom of that stack is always the bottom of the content and that's not off. So before we make anything sticky, just to give you a bit of background to what sticky actually is, um, by default, if you drop in a, a stack or a layer here, the, the position type is relative, um, which just means it's in the layout, it's appearing uh, relative to where it is in the layers panel, and it's kind of abiding by all these rules that you've set up. Um, when you set something to sticky, it's actually, from a layout perspective, it does the same thing, but the only difference is that um, you're telling it to stick to the top of the screen for the duration of uh, its parent stack or container. Um, so essentially this will stay, if I made this text sticky, this will stick to the top of the screen until uh, the bottom of this lines up with the bottom of, of the text. Um, and then they'll all scroll away at the same time. So we can set this to sticky. Um, and if you hit play, you'll notice that nothing happens. Um, the reason for this is because the first thing you need to do when you make anything sticky is actually make sure that all of the stacks um, above are set to visible, all the parent stacks, so the overflow visible. Um, we're making these cards sticky too, so we'll actually set this main card stack to uh, overflow visible. And then all of this content is inside the body, so the same thing. And then desktop, same thing. So if I hit play, that works. Um, however, I don't like it just touching the top like that. So you'll notice that when we set sticky, there's a top value. So I'll actually just make this 120. And when you hit play, it just has that extra space on top. Cool. So we can do this now to um, these three cards. We can just select them all, set them to sticky, and set them to 120. So that was super easy just to like make the them sticky like that. Um, but we can take it a step further and add a scroll transform to have them rotate and create an actual like card stack instead of just hiding all the, the content behind it. So we can add a scroll transform to the second to the second and the third cards. The first one we don't need to because I, I like it just kept where it is. And then the other two will just offset slightly um, in opposite directions. So we'll select the first one and hit effects and scroll transform. Unscroll is fine. And then from this default 0.5, we'll just set that back to one. And then from two, uh, it's confusing, from two, two, uh, <laughs> two, one, one, 16. There we go. So it's rotating 16 degrees 
to the right. And then we're going to change the transition from 500 to 264. You can play with those values um, just again how you like them. And then we'll just right click on the stack and hit copy effects and then paste them on this stack. Um, and we're just going to tweak one thing. We're going to go to two and change that to minus 16. So it goes the other way. So if we hit play, pretty easy for a pretty cool effect. Cool. So that's it. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any requests for more framework content, or if you want to see more of me on flex, please let me know in the comments below. You can also follow me on Twitter at Matt Jumper. Cool. Until next time.